Before the light of the gods entered the world, there was only darkness ruled by titans. After an epic war, Zeus seized the heavens and exiled the titans, seeking to imprison them for all eternity. The lands were cleansed and mortals flourished. But arrogance precedes many a fall. And even a god's prison may be breached. Hello, welcome to my channel once again. Today, what we have with us is Titan Quest. Yes, it's a pretty old game, but hear me out. The reason for featuring this game this week. So, for the month of August, Titan Quest is one of the game that is on offer and caught my attention. It went from $7.99 to $2.99. Of course, there are other games that got offer as well, which I will list them down in the video description below. Titan Quest is developed by THQ Nordic during 2006 for the PC platform before finally reaching the Android platform on 2016, 10 years after its initial release. This game is still a beast despite its old age. So what kind of fans does this game cater to? If you had not played Diablo before and wanted something similar on the go, then Titan Quest is for you. Well, you know. Since we hadn't heard much from Blizzard after Diablo Immortal, which I thought they had completely abandoned honestly after the lashback they have received, but on April, we do finally get news about the close beta being launched in Australia. Anyways, back to the game, despite being such an old game, it is pretty performance demanding. This has been a norm on most open world games, despite running on a Snapdragon 865, I could only run most of the setting on medium to low just to have a decent frame rate. Creating a character is rather easy, just pick a character name and gender, but honestly can't complain much for a 15 years old game. You guys know me by now, when it comes to most PC port games I wouldn't shy away from whipping out my iTega Red Knight, and it works flawlessly. i really glad the developer doesn't slack on this honestly, it just makes the experience so much better but nowadays with the whole flu thing going on you guys know what i'm saying i found it more comfortable to have my phone prop up and play with my dualshock 4 controller instead which is why the later part of this video the buttons label are turned to playstation buttons icon similar to diablo accepting quests exploring dungeon and fighting monster is the element of this game the only difference is that classes are not picked during the character creation but more of which skill tree and stats you choose to build your character towards for a phone game the graphics certainly looks amazing i do experience a forced close at the initial 30 minutes of gameplay but since then i hadn't been running into other issue but i do dislike how the inventory system works such as you can't really compare or check stats of an item unless you tap on the screen instead of using the controller and unable to toss item while using a controller to play all these are easy fix and patch in my opinion and really hope to see them implement overall this game is pretty good in my book make sure to check out the video description again for other mobile games on discount which i didn't showcase of course that's all for me, leave a like if you like this video and subscribe if you're new here. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it and I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah.